Oh, big, big tiger. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, please. Man, check that guy out. <laughs> big old gnarly jaw on him. Yeah, that thing is a tank. Well, before we get into it, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas when I'm uploading this video. And I want to give a quick shout out to congratulations to Brent Beecham on winning my last fly giveaway. Only 10 people entered, so the odds were pretty good. So anyways, let's get at it. Here's the flies that he's getting. Anyways, what he's getting is getting a balanced bruise, two micro balance leeches, tied in Canadian black, balanced hairs here, balanced scud, balanced damsel, and he's getting a rainbow chamois as a bonus. So, yep, congratulations, Brent. Welcome to my channel. It is indeed adventure time. I have packed my tube into a lake that I've been to many times. It's never fast fishing, uh, but there's some really big fish. So this is the second part of a trip. It might be a standalone video. I'll probably have to add it to the last one because I won't likely catch many. But I'm hoping to catch some big chunky cuts and maybe a monster tiger trout. So I got packed in my tube. Uh, fish a little from the shore and then from the tube. But hopefully we get into some fish. So let's get going. Let's go. So I scared a massive tiger. Um, I'm gonna briefly try right here before I inflate, inflate my tube. So, gosh dang it, I spooked a really big tiger. That sucks. You can see, I don't know if I've ever seen a fish with a bigger hump than that tiger right there, because holy crap. And we are off. Uh, yeah, I've kind of had my butt handed to me here the last couple times, so I don't know, kind of cursed here. There's some very big fish in here, but they seem to elude me most of the time. I'm going to try it. I'm here. Uh, I'm starting off with a micro bounce bruise leech as my point fly, holographic chronomid Frenchie, my mid fly, and a holographic soft tackle up top. Then on my indicator rig, I got a micro bounce leech, Canadian black, and a balanced hair here. All right, let's go. Here we go. Hope for the best. Starting off the midge tip. Pick up. Seems pretty solid, probably a cut. I believe he, what is he on? Man, he's strong. Maybe it's a tiger. Or he just foul hooked. This guy's, uh, whatever, he's just strong. So it might be a tiger. I think he is on a micro bounce bruise leech, I believe. I can see my top fly and I can't see the... Yeah, yeah, he's on a leech. And it is a tiger. Nice. Oh, a good tiger too. Oh, geez. Oh, and he's strong. <laughs> oh, geez. He is strong. Oh, nice big old tiger. Not one of the huge, huge ones, but he's big. Oh, no, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> and he, yeah, he's, he is very strong. <laughs> Spinning me around on the tube. Oh yes, big tiger. Well, there's actually far, far, oh man, he is strong. There's far bigger ones in here than this guy, but this guy is a good one. This is definitely a big fish. And he's making my arm cramp up. He's strong, strong. I just don't, don't want to lose him. You don't know how many you're going to actually... Oh man. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you might be bigger than I think. She's 
shit, he is kicking my turn. Oh, man. oh, come on, oh, the OGs, don't, he's going crazy. Oh, he's all wrapped up. Oh, big, big, big tiger. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, please. Huge tiger. Oh, my gosh. Way bigger than I thought. Oh, come on. Oh, oops. Probably wasn't such a gomper. Oh, oh, my gosh. Come here, dude. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't, my arm is so cramped up. Oh yes, holy crap. Oh yeah. You got one messed up jaw. That thing is a freaking tank. Yes. My uh, top 10 tigers right there. Nice. I'm kicking back to the shore, keeping the water there. So to get pictures, guy, I don't want to lose it. That thing is a tank. Um, yeah, that's one of my top uh, 10 tigers of all time. This thing is a Tank. Oh my clippers are in the way. I can't stand. Oh my god, this thing is oh yeah, definitely. Look at that thing. Woohoo! That thing is a beast. Man, check that guy. <laughs> Big old gnarly jaw on him. Yeah, that thing is a tank. Super happy about that. Woohoo! And take out that head. Yeah, just getting back in the water. Woohoo! Very happy about that. Man, look at that thing. <laughs> so awesome. That thing is a tank. A heavy, heavy, heavy. Alright, let's let this guy go. Very happy. That <laughs> thing is a tank. Alright, buddy. So, my buddy, thank you so much. Oh, yes. Man. A mega tiger. Yes. Well, that was awesome. Um,. Yeah, at first he wasn't fighting hard at first, so I thought it was a cup, but then all of a sudden put on some weight down on the bottom, you know, he went down like, okay, there's a bigger fish. Yeah, bigger than I than I thought, so very big tiger. Top 10 for sure, maybe you know, close to my top 5 of all time, so happy about that. We'll get back out there. He took the micro-balanced uh, bruise leech. Uh, yeah, those micro-leeches, they get the eat, so let's get back out there and go for another one. Right, let's try this again. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, my biggest tiger out of here. I had one on probably at least that big two times ago that got off, but that's my biggest landed out of here. I just had a very solid, solid tug of it. Did not stick, but it was like, oh, I had another little bump. The first one was like, I mean, it was solid. A decent sized fish on the bottom right here. Oh, I spooked him, dang it. Oh, are you gonna do it? Way skittish. The little one right here. Maybe I'll eat a leech. Maybe not. Cut right here. Oh, is this guy gonna do it? He's gonna do it. Oh shit. I just saw him open his mouth and nope. Yeah, as well. All the cuts are hanging out over here to hide from the tiger so they don't get eaten. There's another mega tiger right here. It's got a mess up jaw too. It might be the one I caught. It's chilling on the bottom. Hey, hard to see any fish, then you'll find the whole group together. The cuts are all banded together so they don't get eaten by the tigers. And these little bumps, but they, I think they just stalked us because I'm seeing little tiny cuts swimming around on the bottom. I'm assuming that's what's nipping at it. 
Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Big old tiger just came completely out of the water. That was sweet. Oh, massive fish on the Coronamid Frenchie. Massive, massive. This will be my biggest cut of all time. Oh, look at that. He's huge. Oh. Holy crap. That one kicked my butt. <laughs> the Lance Egan Masterpiece, the Coronamid Frenchie. And you know what? I switched to one that has a barb because I kept losing fish. And voila, you know, lo and behold, very first fish sticks. Thanks, bud. Massive. Oh, oh. <laughs> small enough that he fit through the hole. Got a 10 minute break after that trophy cutthroat because it royally kicked my butt. Deshaun does not feel big. Assuming it's a cut. It looks like a cut. Definitely bigger than the last one I caught. In that mega trophy. He is also on the Chronomid Frenchie. The almighty Chronomid. Ooh, that's really pretty. One pretty cut. It almost has like golden trout markings. I'll show you that guy, but he. I was getting the hook out, he flipped out of the net, so, oh well, pretty well cut. I was not getting any noticeable love on the holographic, holographic soft tackle, which has been money for me lately, so. But I switched out and put on a large doll box with an orange hot spot. I'll try that. Let's try this again. Dang it, just spooked another mega tiger. bunch right here so I switch to my indicator in order to drop this down to him but then also a cloud comes over and it gets windy. I can't stay in my spot. Holy crap I can see so many freaking big tigers right here. They're just chasing each other they're like kind of in spawn mode even though they're sterile they try. I have switched up though I was getting no love so I put on an olive zebra demon as my point fly and a dollbach hairs are up top. Oh my gosh, there's the biggest freaking tiger right sitting on the bottom. So big. That guy, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see it. Holy crap! Oh, I don't think you, oh, I can barely see it. I don't think you can. Oh my gosh, that thing is insane. Eat it, please! I switched to double coronamids under the indicator. I'm not seeing any feed, they're just... Chilling on the bottom, some are cruising around. Dang it. Ah. So, nothing's been eating. And so I cast, switch back to my fish tip. Second hit the water, big old tiger nailed it. I think it was on the Dollbach hairs here. I'm gonna head him on for like two seconds. Get the camera on, he's off. Gosh dang it! Well, it's gonna be it from the tube. My feet are numb. And I gotta go here in a bit, so I'm just gonna go kick back to shore and just fish from the shore for a half hour and then let my boat dry out a little bit and then bail. Yeah, just hooked the one big, big tiger, saw some that were even ridiculously bigger than that one and had one other one take, I think it was a hair's ear doll block. And I did feel, I had one solid tug early on too, but not fast action. Kind of standard for here. I was fish here for about a half hour and then get out of here. I get wet. The cloud to go away, it's cold. We finally got the indicator to go down and didn't stick. Shoot. Well, that is it. That's all she wrote for here. Um, overall, the trip was pretty fun between the two spots. Not incredibly fast action either place, but but I caught the one mega tiger, so I was happy about that. Uh, yeah, big tiger. I saw a couple that were quite a bit bigger than that one, so but oh, well, it was fun. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I never, it's never fast action here for me. Maybe, you know, well, maybe in the spring. Anyways, you know, appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up, you know. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Get out there and fish. Go have some fun. Get out there and have an adventure of your own. Until next time.